going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's quick tutorial i'll be showing you how to remotely control your raspberry pi from your cell phone all by using the ssh protocol to be able to remotely log in and send command line execution commands to your raspberry pi through downloading a simple app and setting up ssh on your phone to be able to do this uh, what's awesome about this video is first of all this is free to get started so the app we're going to go through and everything we need is completely free also ssh protocol is incredibly simple and easy to set up and we only need a set of parameters from our raspberry pi which i'll show you how to get in this video and by the end of it we will be able to send remote commands from our phone using our raspberry pi which is pretty cool and i actually didn't know you could do this until recently so i thought i would show you guys of course this has many applications in terms of iot robotics and other things so if you want to be able to control your raspberry pi from your phone and learn something about SSH, this is the video for you. And also, if you haven't, before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel because every subscription matters to me to make more engaging content for you guys. And I do not want to waste any of your time. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so first things first, it's really simple on the Raspberry Pi side of things. We just need a set of parameters from our Raspberry Pi. That is, we need the IP address on our local network. And of course, we need the username and password, which I already imagine you have stored within your brain. So make sure you have your username and password that you use to sign into the Raspberry Pi before we go to the cell phone side of things. So first, to get that IP address, we just want to go into this terminal here on the Raspberry Pi. And I want to expand this. And let's just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. And we just want to run one simple command. So that command is actually called if config. And if you watched my channel before, you've probably already seen this. But for you new guys, this is just a command to get some network level parameters from your Raspberry Pi. And the one we're looking for today is this IP address right here. So yours is probably different than the one I have here. So mine's 192.168. 0.1.111 and this is the IP address I will need to point to on the app on my cell phone to be able to send SSH commands to my Raspberry Pi over the local network. So be sure to save this IP address and keep it at hand because in the next step on our phone, we'll be using it in the app to be able to SSH into our Raspberry Pi. So now that you have your IP address and you have your username and password to actually sign into your Pi, let's jump into the phone side of things and show you how to use the app to be able to send commands. Okay, so now that we have the parameters we need, we could just go to our phone and go to the App Store. If you are on Android, of course, go to the Play Store. The app is luckily available on both platforms. So I'm just gonna go to the App Store and I already have it searched here. So the app is called Termius. I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. And of course, give it a moment to download there. It is free, you do not need any credit card information. So it is awesome and it's a really popular and well-rated app to do this sort of thing. So I'm just gonna give it a moment to download here. And once it's downloaded, we'll hop into the app. Okay, so the app is downloaded. I'm just going into the app now. Welcome to Termius. It's, it's very simple to get started. So we can just go ahead and get started here. Next, next, next. Set up your vault. So that's what we want to do. And I'm just going to connect with Google. Really, you could do whatever you want here. And I'm just going to connect my Shilatech Gmail account. And we are just going to hit continue. So far, very straightforward and seamless. Set encryption password. We could really do whatever we want. I'll just call it Raspberry Pi, this really doesn't matter. Raspberry Pi. Okay, and I just put whatever password, it's not important for right now. And we're just going to click done. Make sure, of course, if you put that password, keep it secure and keep it uh, intricate so people don't guess your password easily. Okay, we're just gonna hit next. Terminus would like to find devices on your local network. So of course, one thing important about this technique in this video is you do have to be on the same network as your Raspberry Pi. If you guys want to see a more advanced technique where we can SSH outside our local network, please let me know in the comment section down below, but you do have to be on the same internet as your Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and click skip here. We don't need that, we don't need their pro for now. And we can just go ahead and click new host, so, so perfect. And this is where you put the information that we talked about at the beginning of this video. So really straightforward, as I mentioned. So we're just gonna put that IP address. So 192.1.168, or it's 0 .168, 0 .1, 0 0.1, 0.111, okay? Of course, add yours accordingly. And then I am just going to go down here and put the username for my Raspberry Pi. And then I am going to put the password. So this is the password used to sign into your actual Raspberry Pi. So if I did everything correctly here, so I put the correct username, I put the correct password and the IP address, I should be able to sign in now. So we're just gonna click save. 
Okay, we're going to select that host. We're going to continue. So it looks like we have an active connection. It's telling us a bunch of things we could do here. So once again, they have a really beautiful interface that you could zoom into the secure shell because some people have smaller phones or just worse eyesight that you can't see the shell on your phone. So awesome. And they have a bunch of other stuff that I haven't really played around with. Really, we just wanna go through all this. And so now you have an SSH shell on your phone where I can actually command or control my Raspberry Pi from my cell phone. So this is pretty awesome. So I can actually access system level commands on my Raspberry Pi, so LS to see the files. So you could see, I could see all the files here. I can even go through certain directories. And one thing pretty cool is I can actually write Python code here. So I could just type in Python and create a Python shell. We'll just type Python 3. And it gives me a bunch of suggestions, which is pretty cool and convenient. So Python 3, and we could just print hello world. Very stereotypical. And we'll just go ahead and do that here. Hello world. And I'll just show you that you can do that really cool. Once again, you could just do everything you can on the system level on your Raspberry Pi, all through this interface. And of course, the world is yours once you unlock this SSH. You can do much more advanced things depending on your application with this app. You saw it was incredibly easy to get started free and only took a matter of just a few steps. So that pretty much sums it up for this video, guys. We saw how simple it was to remotely control your Raspberry Pi with the SSH protocol using the Termius app. And we were able to send system level commands from just our cell phone over the internet in a matter of a few steps. And we saw that it was all free to get started. So if you learned something new or helped you with one of your projects, please consider subscribing to the channel because that would mean a lot to me to be able to provide you guys with more awesome content. If you have any questions in the comment section down below or you want to see a part two of this video, please let me know because a lot of my video ideas actually come from inspiration from the comment section on this channel. So do not be shy to suggest things because there's a high chance I will take it up and make a future video. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next tutorial.